This tutorial video is going to walk you through the steps to create a new report in the Akixi reporting portal. After you've signed into the reporting portal, click on the burger menu in the top left corner and open the reporting section. To add a new report, click on the add report icon located in the reporting menu and the add new report window will pop up. From here, you can build your new report. As we can see, the default report style that shows up is the warboard. And if you click on the style drop down box, you can see all of the different types of reports that you can use to create your new reports. But for this tutorial, we're going to build an extension list. Start by giving your report a name. I want to report on my sales team and it's going to be a weekly report. So for this example, let's call the report sales team weekly report. You can then choose whether you want to add your report to a folder using the drop down, or you can just create a new folder by typing that in in the folder field. You can also use the notes field if you'd like to add any extra comments to your report. I'm just going to put uh, Monday to Friday. If you are planning to build a scheduled report, the name field will be the title of the attached report field in the scheduled email. And you can also include the name, folder and notes field on a wallboard as tiles. By changing the displayed as option, you can choose how your report is viewed. For example, you can change your report to be displayed as a chart. And if you select chart view, you're able to specify the style of chart that you would like to use for your reports. So let's just choose column 2D. And I'm just going to pop this report back to a detailed table review. Let's now move to setting a time frame against this report. And I want this to be a weekly report, so I'm going to select the this week option. You can also set days of the week that you want to report on and time frames within those days. I only want to report on data within working days. Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, I'm going to unselect Saturday and Sunday. Start the report at 9 a.m. in the morning. And I'm going to end it at 5 p.m. It is worth quickly adding that at any point you can click on the report pop out button in the top right to open the report in a separate browser window and you can then move the window around on your screen. So here we go. We've now completed the first basic settings of the report. We can click the OK button to see what the report is looking like. As we can see, the report is showing everyone in the team as we have not yet selected which employees we want the report to be filtered on. Let's modify the report so we can make some more changes to the report settings. The next step is to set some basic filtering, and this can be done just by clicking on the filter menu item. Although there are many filter options on here, we're just going to concentrate on filtering on devices and selecting the channel and call type. As my sales team are just using normal extensions, they're not agents, they're not part of their own group, I need to select them individually. My sales team consists of Jack, Ruby, Oliver, Emily and Grace. Now I only want to report on external inbound only calls. And we can now select which fields we want to show on the report. And this is done by the fields menu item. As we can see, the report is populated with a number of default fields already. I just want to look at calls coming into my sales team members, how many calls have been answered and how many have been abandoned. I'm also going to remove any real time statistics as this is a historic report and any other fields I don't want to include. I do, however, need to add the inbound abandoned field. So I will do that now. Under custom settings, you're able to set a custom name and width for any fields you want to add to the reports. I'm just going to rename the inbound abandoned statistic to missed calls and set the width to nine. And if you enter a very long name, you may want to increase the width of this field even further. Click OK and you can now see your changes. As you can see so far, this is a very simple report. The next step is scheduling this report to be emailed on a weekly basis. So if we go back into the modify report window and over to the scheduling menu item, we can select from several different schedules. Now I want this to be a weekly report, but you do also have hourly, daily, weekly, and monthly options. I'm going to set this to go out on a Friday at 9 p.m. and I'm also gonna have it come through as a PDF document. So once you've done that, click on okay. Now, if you have a look on the left-hand side in your reporting menu, you will see that there is now a little email icon indicating that this report is a scheduled report. Let's see what our report looks like as a chart. And this can be done by using the report view type button in the top right. We can see we have both the report name and the report notes at the top of the chart. Now at the moment, the chart is displaying the extension numbers. And if you want to change this so they instead display the names of the extensions, just modify the reports and push the device name field up the order so this is above the device ID field. 
If you click on OK, you'll now see that chart now displays the names instead. Let's just finish off by having a quick look at what the report looks like as a PDF. And you can do this by clicking on the download PDF option. On the PDF, you've got the graph and you've got the table. And if you select the schedule report to come through as a PDF, then this is what you'll get. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other tutorial videos on the Akixi YouTube channel.